Next month, the Federal Communications Commission will vote on the Connected Care Pilot Program. It aims to bring telehealth to rural communities, low-income Americans, and veterans. Kelloland News intern Stefan Oliva shows you how this can benefit those who don't live close to a hospital. If the FCC's initiative goes through, it would give $100 million to fund health care in rural communities nationwide. Senator Mike Round says telemedicine can be a cheaper way to enhance medical care that's already in place. This is an opportunity for us to actually improve our health care delivery system. It, it provides for a more timely health care access. It can be less expensive than having an ambulance. FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr notes that big cities have more access to broadband. But at the FCC, we're really focused on the thousands of other communities that are out there and ensuring that they get their fair shot at these types of opportunities. Joe Plensler from the American Legion says some veterans in rural communities rely on telehealth, but it might not be enough. And telehealth care is great for consultations and things like that, but if uh, you're never going to replace eyeball to eyeball contact with a healthcare provider. Using iPads and other devices, doctors can monitor patients' vital signs and connect with them through the internet. Senator John Thune says expanding those services is crucial. It seems to me it's a win win for people in South Dakota and in other rural areas around the country who today. Uh, perhaps can't benefit because they don't have in their home access to high-speed internet. The FCC is expected to vote on the program at their next meeting early next month. In Washington, D.C., Stefan Oliva, Kelloland News.